Hi everybody, Will Riley here, and I am going to be doing another video, and due to the increasing frequency of the videos that I've been doing, I've had to increase my production value as well. So I've hired an assistant to do my videography, who I'll show to you now. This is Coraline. Hi. Hi. All right. She's going to be helping me with the video here, so hopefully it turns out A-OK. -okay. Are we ready to get started? Yep. All right. Okay, so you've just arrived at your campsite and you are ready to level your trailer. Now, there's all kinds of different methods, but today I'm gonna to be showing you the BAL single axle tire leveler. This thing is awesome. I've used it several times and it has never failed to work for me in any situation where I've used it. So I'm gonna show you now how it works and what I think of it. All right. So here we are with the BAL leveler. This is the unit right down here, okay? Let me show you just a little bit about what we're looking at. These two plates, right here, yeah. These two plates are where the tire sits, okay? okay. And then this is the large screw that raises this up, okay? So basically it just does this while you screw this in here against this little um, little crater right here. Can you see that? Uh-huh. Yeah. So this screw rests down in that crater so it doesn't slip out. And then this is the tool that comes with the unit. Um, it's a closed end ratcheting uh, wrench and there's a three quarter inch size and a seven to eight inch size. And the three quarter inch size is what you use and you just slip it on there and uh, it's got a lever here for forward and backward motion for uh, you know your ratcheting, okay? And then you uh, tighten it, of course, to raise up. Can you kind of back up a little bit and see all this happening? So you can see how the tire leveler is raising up just like this as I tighten the screw. And then if I want to loosen it, of course, I go this way and it drops down. So that's the basic principle of how this tire leveler works. And so you've shown up to your campsite and you're ready to level. Do not put your stabilizers down yet. Look at me right here. Do not put your stabilizers down before you level the trailer. That's a big mistake. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We got our leveler unpacked out of the trailer and sometimes we show up and it's gravel okay that's what we're on right now and every now and then the gravel is maybe all heaped up like this around your tire it's all uneven and weird and when you try to shove this under there you're going to end up with complications because this gravel is going to get where you don't want it to go all right so what i do is i just kind of clear it out a little bit with my hands just to make sure that i'm going to be sitting on some nice level ground and that my that my leveler has a nice place to nestle in and do its job okay so now watch me do this here it goes it's just this easy you just slide this guy right in there so your tire lands on those two little pads and then you set your uh, screw down in that little crater and I tighten by hand until it gets a little bit snug. So I know I'm not gonna slip out of that crater. Are you looking pretty good here at the, uh, the work? Okay, mm -hmm. then slip on for your three quarter inch fitting. And so at some point you're gonna start hitting your wheel hub and that's when you have to start ratcheting. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up really, really high uh, so that people can see what the tire looks like um, once you get kind of some pretty good distance up off the ground. For my family, the way we do this is uh, we make sure that someone is inside the trailer looking at our little T level, okay, so that it's level this way and that way uh, while I'm out here doing the work. And so 
Um, my wife will be inside and she'll say, oh, that's good, or a little bit more. So uh, if you're camping alone, you don't really have that luxury. But for us, it's usually the two of us or the three of us, and we have someone inside that can communicate and let me know when we're at the right level. Okay, so that's a pretty good height right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this from you. Okay, so what we're looking at here, I don't know if you can see it, but the tire is kind of dented in where it's sitting on those little things, okay? And it's not exactly round, but if you think about it, when your tire is sitting on the ground, it's also not perfectly round, okay? So the weight of your trailer is just being suspended on your tire, just like normal. It's just happening in two different places rather than only one place. So um, I don't know if this has any kind of significant um, increased wear and tear on a person's tire or not, but uh, for the convenience of being able to level this way and the infrequency of having to actually use this like to a great extent, like raising it up several inches. Um, I think it's probably okay. Um, I'm not an expert, but that's my thought on it. So now that we're level, uh, this is the time to put your stabilizers down and then you would be set to go. So then you've done your camping and now it's time to take it down. So here you go, videographer playing with a rock. <laughs> okay. All right, so time to take it down. So like I showed you before, this little wrench has a flip for reversing, okay? So then you do that, okay? Back over here. Yeah. And then it comes right back down. Just as easy as it went up. Okay, there you have it, and boom, boom, we're done. So, again, this is just one method of leveling your trailer. It's the one that we use all the time, and it has never failed to work for us. We've never really tried the Lego blocks and that kind of thing, but for me, that seems a little touch and go because, uh, you know, those, those things could maybe sink into the ground, or you have to keep pulling forward, may, oh, that's not enough level, let's add another block, and you back up and you add another block and then you pull it forward. But in this case, you can park and unhitch and everything and your leveling happens, you know, just so easy like that. So that's what I recommend. And I think Coraline recommends it too, right? All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. And if you have any further questions, just uh, feel free to ask me. Say bye, Dad. Oh, bye, Dad. Say happy camping. Happy camping! <laughs>